I'm Steph Sarner Williamson. I'm a 91 Lima, which is a construction equipment repairer. As a construction equipment repairer, we work on various construction pieces of equipment. Uh, like behind me, we got the D7R, uh, which is a bulldozer. Also, we work on uh, graders, scrapers, rollers, uh, anything you would see on a job site, we repair it. As a 91 Lima, the construction equipment repairer, it's important to make sure that we keep up on regular services and repairs on this equipment so there's no breakdowns on a job site. There's a breakdown on a job site that pushes the deadline and halts an operation. So ensuring that we maintain and do our job servicing and repairing these vehicles is gonna help eliminate a need for a shutdown on a job site. I was able to take what I learned through my MOS training and apply that at my federal technician job to better my career as a mechanic. Uh, if you're looking to get your hands dirty, become a mechanic and work on heavy junk, uh, the cool thing about it is if you repair something, you get to drive it. So as a mechanic, I get to go drive this piece of equipment to verify that I fixed the fault and have a little fun. I'm Staff Sergeant Long. I am a 12 November and that is a horizontal construction engineer. As a horizontal construction engineer, we operate and maintain heavy equipment. We run dirt sites, we run hauling operations for rock, dirt, any type of material that needs to be moved with a heavy piece of machinery, we're the people that do it. The best part about my job is you can make something out of nothing. You can take a machine as big as this bulldozer behind me and you can do fine grade work and you can use a lot of finesse with your job with bulky machines. So the reason I chose to be a heavy equipment operator for the military is because I wanted to have a standing ground on the civilian side so I can eventually join a local operators union and make a successful career for myself and then make a bright future for my family. So behind me is the D7R dozer. We use it to move heavy amounts of dirt and rock depending on what you need. This is the best machine for the job. If you've got big stuff to move, this is what we use. So when you have large pieces of equipment like the D7R, we have to use these light equipment transports in order to move it from site to site. So we use the light equipment transport, also known as the LET, and we use the trailer to load up the bulldozer and move it from project site to project site. Hello, I'm Steven Pazinski with the Iowa Army National Guard. I'm a 12 Whiskey, which is a carpentry and masonry specialist. As a carpentry and masonry specialist, we do everything from forming the concrete foundation to building the walls and the structure on top of it. I chose the Iowa Army National Guard for the college benefits and in particular the MOS 12 Whiskey as a carpentry and masonry specialist because on the civilian side my parents own a construction company and I look forward to taking over the company at some point which ties in directly with this MOS, Carpentry and Masonry. Here behind me is the Engineer's Castle. This is the crest that represents all engineers in the Army. As 12 Whiskies, we're using this as a training exercise, and we've built everything here from framing to sheathing, and soon to be getting ready for electricians, the 12 Romeos, and plumbers, the 12 Kilos. Hi, I'm Sergeant Aguirre. I'm a 12 Romeo, which is interior electrician. Um, interior electrician, what it does is start from the beginning is uh, installing a service cable to the fuse box. From the fuse box, it goes to the junction box, the switch box, and to uh, outlets. Getting the training from the Iowa National Guard as an electrician, it will help me excel and move a little bit up in my uh, civilian career, civilian job. The opportunity that Iowa National Guard has given me is that he helped me, uh, since I'm a ESL guy, English second language, he helped me to be more open. At the beginning, I was really, really shy to speak English or to speak to anybody. I was really close because of my accent. I was always embarrassed, oh, am I going to say the wrong thing? Or, you know, and with that being in the Iowa National Guard has helped me, expose me, and give me the opportunity to be more open and be like, okay, you know, let's go and do it. I know I can do this. Give me the confidence to speak. I'm Seth Sergeant Dolash. I'm a 91 Echo. That's an Allied Trade Specialist focusing on welding and machining. The best part of our job is creating solutions for problems that come to us. It can be from work orders or if we need to create a custom part. We are the ones that are tasked with that responsibility. When we receive work orders, it could be a small part or a big part. We're the ones tasked with kind of either fabricating a new one or fixing the old one that was broken. Uh, so we are kind of essential to making sure that the operations continue and the mission continues as it needs to go. Part of the reason why I picked this MOS is because it gives you the civilian certs when you go through training that allows you to do it on the civilian side. And as the National Guard, we can do both our service to our country and the service to ourselves as part of the civilian workforce. 
Behind me, we have our welding trailer. It has a Trailblazer 302 diesel. It's what we use for all of our welding operations, whether that be stick, MIG, or TIG. Uh, we kind of look into uh, different parts to uh, link up with it that we can do all of our welding operations from. If you've been inspired by anything you've seen today, contact your local recruiter and check us out on Iowa Army National Guard Recruiting and Retention on all social media platforms.